Hello guys. Welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create animation like this. Create new composition. Call it logo. Change resolution width to 600 pixel and height to 600 pixel. Apply logo to the timeline. Press S and change size. Create new composition. Call it final comp. Change resolution width to 1920 pixel and height to 1080 pixel. Apply logo comp to the timeline. Create new solid. Call it background. Put background under the logo layer. Go to effect and preset. Search gradient ramp. Apply gradient ramp to the background. Adjust view setting. Choose logo layer and create 3D layer. Press P to bring up position. Create an expression by hold the Alt key then press the stopwatch at position. Type expression like the video. Go to Effect and Preset. Search for Bright and Contrast. Apply to the Logo layer. Change Brightness to minus 100. Duplicate layer by press Ctrl plus D duplicate depending on thickness 3D logo design. Change active camera to custom view 1 to see how thickness it. Select the top logo layer then remove brightness and contrast. Select all logo layer. Pre-compose. Call it 3D logo. Create a 3D layer and enable collapse layer on a 3D logo layer. Go to 3 seconds. Create camera. Open transform. Create keyframe to point of interest and position. Go to 0 second to just point of interest and position.
Select all keyframe. Keyframe assistance. Easy ease. Go to 220 seconds. Choose 3D layer. Press S and create keyframe. Go to 1 second. Change scale to 80. And go to 0 second change scale to 0. Go to 3 seconds change scale to 80. Select all keyframe. Keyframe assistance. Easy ease. Open edit speed graph then edit like the video. Go to Effect and Preset. Search CC Light Sweep. Apply CC Light Sweep to the 3D logo layer. Go to 22 frame. Create keyframe to the center. Change center position on the top left of logo. Go to 3 seconds then change the center position to the right of the logo. Press U to show up keyframe. Press F9 to easy ease. Thank you for watching. See you to the next tutorial.